All right, so we've got our new fan splitters. We got those installed on the front, and uh, we got our last five fans plugged in. We will cable manage this up and show you the cable management part of it once we're done. Not looking too bad right there, though. There's the cable management done. Uh, 11 fans. Um, eight of them are RGB fans, so. It's a lot of freaking cables, uh, but we got it nice and tight, so we'll get this cover on. We'll show you what that looks like. This is your hard drive hard drive trays. Uh, you access that from the back here with this thumb screw. Pops off. You can put in two and a half inch or three and a half inch uh, hard drives or SSDs. Um, and then I've got you a cable already in there, um, already plugged in, so you don't have to mess with all of this if you decide to add in some hard drives. So, you've got your SATA cable already there. The only thing you'll have to do is use the um, cables that plug in from the hard drive to the motherboard. So, uh, yep, I'm going to be sending you a couple of those cables as well. Alright, that's installed. you got a thumb screw there, a little Phillips screw right there. You can put a 2.5 inch SSD right here. And then on the other side of this, inside, you can put a, another 2.5 inch SSD um, in there. I believe you can put the 3.5 inch hard drive um, as well, but not on this side because that panel is going to come flush in right here. So definitely SSD right here. Uh, you might be able to fit a hard drive on there, maybe a 2.5 inch, but I would just go full on SSDs with a build like this. You also have these mounting points right here. Um, as well so you can put a lot of hard drives in here right now if you wanted to we're going to turn this thing around show you the fans we'll power it up and we'll see if she boots cable management is done and uh we are all hooked up everything's plugged in just a quick tour uh three six nine eleven fans so uh, airflow for sure. Airflow for days. Uh, we'll have to power this baby up. Let's see. Oh, we're posting. Nice. I'm just smack and delete. I'm going to go into the BIOS. Check some settings in there. Oh. Alright, so 140 mil fans came with the case. 120 mil at the back there came with the case. We didn't take those out. Uh, it'd be a waste of buying the case. You're throwing away a bunch of money that the case costs if you do that. So, yeah, keeping those in. We did add in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120s, all white. And then we're using the fan that came with the Vetru V5. Um, got the 2080 Ti, 4x8, Crucial Ballistics, 3600CL16, we got that XMP profile enabled. Down here you've got your, uh, your USB-C, you'll see where I had to plug that in, so you actually had your USB-C working up there at the top. Uh, the other ones are, uh, regular USB, so... Uh, that should be working. Haven't tested that yet, but we'll make sure. I uh, have tested the Wi-Fi card, though, so Wi-Fi is working. I uh, needed to update the driver on your uh, 2080 Ti here, Gaming OC. Uh, I did run, I did have to finagle with these cables a little bit, but we were running two separate cables instead of the one with the splitter that comes off. And uh, so it's got its own dedicated cables. Um, but yeah, we are, looks like we're up and running. We do have a Windows boot up, so sweet. We're going to run some tests now, make sure everything's up to date, and we'll get this thing boxed up and shipped out. And there it is, all together. Um, still have to run the tests. I just want to get all the panels on, let you see. Uh, it's obviously a little bit, uh, m like milky looking or... 
because we haven't peeled off. That's going to be your job. You're going to peel that off. Um, you're going to want to clean this thing out, eh, I'd say probably every six months. You have a filter under here. You just push down on that and then pull out. And you'll blow that filter off. I'd probably do that about once a month, probably. Um, that's the only filter in this system. So whenever you want to clean this, I'd say every six months would be a good job to clean it. All right, these two thumb screws at the top, you got to pull those out or unscrew them. You know, they're self-captured. And then this thing pops off that way. Pull that up. The glass just slides right up out, so be careful with that. That panel slides right up and out. The back panel, you have two thumb screws right there and right there. You'll just unscrew those off, and that pops out, pops off. So uh, you probably shouldn't need to take the back off, really. You'll just pull this off, pull this off, pull this off. Take it outside, dust it out with your little air duster, um, and that's it. But I think it came out pretty nice. You got the all-white build. If only had a white graphics card, white motherboard, that'd be really the all-white build. But uh, you work with what you got, right? So we're going to run some tests now.